Today, we are learning how to have our very own custom autofill lists that we can use to insert data by simply dragging the fill handle, just like we do it for the days of the week and the names of the month. Let's get started. All right, while using Excel, you might have noticed that it is super convenient to list down the names of the month as you can start with just any month. It doesn't necessarily have to be even January. And as I drag the fill handle downward, it is going to give me the names of the month starting from March. Same applies for the days of the week. If I have Friday and when I drag the fill handle downwards, it is going to give me the list of the days this fast. And if you don't know, you can drag the fill handle to the right, even upwards and to your left. And Excel is going to automatically adjust what data, what item should be listed, depending on the direction in which you are moving the fill handle. Now, there is no magic involved in this process. Excel can do this because we have these lists built right inside Excel by default and we call them autofill lists. Now, very few people know that we can have our own custom autofill lists as well. And, on, and in order to do so, go to the file menu, then hit options. From here, click advanced, scroll down to the general heading, edit custom list, and there you have the custom lists that are already available. And as you can see, we have the names of the, we have the days of the week and months. And then I have this list that I just used in the intro to list down the names of the cities of Pakistan. All right, there are two ways to insert your own custom list. First, by selecting the new list from the left quadrant and then typing the items one by one. So I have east, west, north, south. Once I'm done, click add, and now you have your custom list ready to be used. The second and better method is by importing the items that are already listed inside Excel worksheet. So having the fill handle inside the input box, delete whatever is written at the moment, scroll down to the area where you have the items, Say I want the list of vegetables that are mentioned here. Select the data, click import, click OK once and then once again. And now your list of vegetables is ready to be used and deployed. I can start with any vegetable name like potato, drag the fill handle down and it is going to list the names of the vegetable for me that fast. And similarly, I can drag the fill handle to the right, upwards, and even to the left. So there you have it, your very own custom autofill list that you can use to insert data very quickly and without any mistakes. Just do it once and use it every time you have to enter this data. I hope you like this video. If this is the case, please do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay in the loop for future videos. Until next time, I'm your host, Hassan Fazal, and happy excelling.